Okay, hey guys. So today we're gonna go ahead and go over day two notes, uh, which is oops, sorry, <laughs> which is a moles review or multi-mole conversions. Okay, so basically this whole unit is going to be about converting from one unit to another. Okay, and this is the path that you're going to have to take to figure out. Well, if I have representative particles, well, how do I convert that to moles? Or if I have moles, how do I convert that to molar mass? Okay, so you're either going to be going in one direction or another, or later on this week, we're going to be combining several steps. Okay, so basically to convert between units, follow the highway. Notice there is no shortcuts from grams to liters or between any of the three units surrounding the mole. Okay, this means you have to convert two moles okay, before converting to any other unit. Okay, so again, if you were given volume and you want to figure out molar mass, then you're going to have to convert volume to moles, then moles to molar mass. Okay, so let's go ahead and practice moles and mass. So it's asking us to draw the mole road map. Okay, so in the middle is going to be our mole. Well, one of them is one of the units that we're going to use is mass, which is always represented in grams. Okay, so our conversion factor, if we're trying to go from mass to moles or moles to mass, well, our conversion factor is always going to be one mole is equal to the molar mass of that compound or um, formula. Okay. And that's also going to be your atomic mass. Remember um, that we just learned from day one notes? That's that. So if you don't know what molar mass is, you're going to have to watch day one notes of the video. Okay? So another conversion factor that we have, we have volume, which is measured in liters. So if we're trying to convert from volumes to moles, or moles to volume, the conversion factor that we're going to use is one mole is always equivalent to 22.4 liters of that um, molecular compound. Okay, and then lastly, the last conversion factor that we have, we have representative particles. And then don't forget what representative particle, particles are. So representative particles are atoms, ions, molecules, or formula units. So if we ever give you a problem that has atoms or ions or any of those, then you should automatically know that it's a representative particle. And for every one mole that we have, it's going to equal 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particle. Okay, so this is our little mole roadmap. We are always going to use this to help us figure out, okay, what's going to be the conversion factor that we're going to use. Okay, is it going to be one mole equals molar mass? Is it going to be one mole equals 22.4 liters? Or is it going to be one mole equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particle? Okay, so again, it always depends on what were we given in, from the problem and what are we trying to find or what is our problem asking for? Okay. <clears throat> All right, so molar mass. Okay, so molar mass can be called gram atomic mass when a single element is used. It can also be called a gram formula unit when ionic compound is used. And it can also be called a gram molecular unit when molar compounds or diatomic molecules are used. Okay, don't forget what a diatomic molecule is. Okay, remember that diatomic molecules are atoms that bond with themselves if they are by themselves. So the following, remember, um, we also have H7, 
okay, to help you remember um, those seven diatomics. Again, if you don't remember what diatomic molecules are, you need to watch the day one notes um, from the other day. Okay, so the general formula that we're going to use for this unit is this right here. Okay, so what we're going to write first is the unit that we've been given from the problem. Okay, we're going to multiply that. We're going to multiply that by our conversion factor. Okay, our conversion factors are from the mole map. So if you remember from our mole map, one mole equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles, one mole equals molar mass, or one mole equals 22.4 liters. Okay, those are our conversion factors. Now, how do you know which one goes on top, which one goes on bottom? Is it going to be moles or is it going to be particles? Is it going to be moles or is it going to be molar mass? Well, whatever unit the problem is asking for, that's going to be on top. So for example, if I give you moles and I'm asking for particles, well then we know that um, what we're looking for is particles. So that's going to go on top. So the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd is going to go on top. And then the unit given should match the unit that was from the problem, which is moles, right? Because I told you guys, I, if I give you moles and I'm asking for particles, well, then moles is going to go down here and particles is going to go down there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a few examples to help you kind of visualize that. Okay, so <clears throat> number one. Okay, it says determine the number of moles in each of the quantities below. Okay, so if we have 25 grams of sodium, how many moles does that consist of? So again, we're always going to write what was given to us. So we have 25 grams of sodium, okay, so that's our given, okay, so now we're going to multiply that by our conversion factor, okay, so if we're going from grams to moles, well, if we take a look at our mole map, okay, our mole map tells us that if we're going from um, mass to moles, then our conversion factor is going to be one mole equals the molar mass of our compound or our molecule. Okay, so if we're trying to find moles, then our one mole, that's our conversion factor of sodium is going to go on top and our molar mass is going to go on bottom. So what is the molar mass of sodium? Well, on your periodic table, if you guys look up sodium, sodium is, oh, I think I'm wrong, is 22.990 grams of sodium. Okay, so this is our conversion factor. Remember that one mole Okay, one mole equals molar mass. So there's my one mole, which I'm trying to find, and this is my molar mass of my given. Okay, so now we're going to solve. So if you're not really good at math, what you're always going to do is 25 times one, then divide by 22.990. Okay, so... Let me see if I have a calculator so I can calculate this with you guys. Okay, so on my calculator, so what is 25 divided by uh, 22.990? Okay, and our answer is 1.08. Seven. I'm just going to um, round to four significant figures for now, okay? But <clears throat> is this going to be my final answer, and what units do I use? Is it going to be grams, or is it going to be moles? Okay, so first, let's go ahead and figure out what our units are going to be. Well, 
our grams are going to cancel out. Okay, and what we're left with is going to be moles of sodium. So that's going to be our units, moles of sodium. And then if you guys remember, that's also what the problem is asking for, number of moles. Oh, excuse me. Okay, and then our next, um, our next step is significant figures, okay? If you don't remember significant figures from a few units ago, you need to go ahead and take out your notes and kind of refresh on that, okay? But in our problem, we have two significant figures. So two and five, that's our significant figures. So that means our answer must also have two significant figures. So this is my first significant figure. And this is my second significant figure. Those are the only two that I need. So this 8 is going to do what to that 0? Is it going to round it up or is it going to round it down? Okay, it's going to round it up. So your final answer is actually 1.1 moles of sodium. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the next example. Okay, so we have 85 grams of H2SO4. So in this case, okay, let me see. In this case, okay, our given is 85 grams of H2SO4. And then again, we're going to multiply that by our conversion factor. Well, don't forget that our conversion factor, we're going from molar mass, or sorry, we're going from grams to moles. So this is going to be our conversion factor. Okay, so, <clears throat> and we're looking for moles. So this is going to be one mole of H2SO4 because that's what we're trying to find. We're trying to find how many moles of H2SO4 is 85 grams. Okay, so what's our molar mass? So I'm just going to do that right here. So H, we have hydrogen, we have sulfur, and we have oxygen. Okay, so how many of each do we have? Hydrogen, I have two. Sulfur, I have one. And oxygen, I have four. Okay, so now we're going to multiply that by our atomic mass. So hydrogen on your periodic table, hydrogen has an atomic mass of 1.008. Sulfur has the atomic mass of 32.066. And oxygen has the atomic mass of 15.999. Okay, and then we're going to multiply all those. Okay, so I'm going to do some mental math. So 2 times 1.008, 2.016. This is 32.066. And then let's do, let's actually work out the last one because my mental math is not that good. Okay, so that's going to be 63.996. Okay, so if we add those all up, so plus 32.066 and then plus 2.016, our final answer is 98.078. So that's our molar mass. So our molar mass is 98.078 grams of H2SO4. Okay, so <clears throat> now we're going to solve. Okay, so remember 85 times 1 divided by 98.078. Okay, so 85 times 1, which I'm going to skip, so divided by 98.078 equals 0 0.866 um, and then let's go ahead and round 7 okay and then remember what's going to be my units well grams of H2SO4 is going to cancel out with grams of H2SO4 
So what's the only unit we have left? Moles of H2SO4. Okay, so our answer, moles of H2SO4. Okay, well, remember, significant figures. So is this our final answer? No, because our problem only has two significant figures. So how many significant figures should we have? We should have two. So 0 0.87 moles of H2SO4. Okay? All right. So, moving forward to number three. So now it's asking us to determine the number of grams in each of the quantities below. So now it's asking us to find the number of grams and we've been given moles. Okay? So if I have my given was 2.5 moles of sodium, which is Na. I'm going to multiply that by my conversion factor. Well, what's my conversion factor for grams to moles? It's going to be the same thing. One mole equals molar mass. Now, which one goes on top? Which one goes on bottom? So this time we're looking for grams. So grams is going to go on top and our one mole is going to go on the bottom. Okay, so what's our molar mass for sodium? Well, on our periodic table, sodium is 22.990 grams. Okay, so now we can go ahead and solve. Okay, so let's see. What's 2.5 times 22.990? divided by 1. Well, we don't really have to divide by 1, so we can skip that step. So 2.5 times 22.99 equals 57.475. Now, what's our units? Remember, moles is going to cancel out with moles. So what we're left with is grams of sodium. Okay, so grams of sodium. Okay, now is this our final answer? And you should say no because significant figures. Our problem only has two significant figures, so our answer should also have two significant figures. So 57 grams of sodium is our final answer. Okay, now moving on to number four. Okay, so we have, we're given 0 0.50 moles of H2SO4. Okay, so again, what's going to be our conversion factor? It's going to be 1 mole equals molar mass. So what's going to go on top? Is it going to be moles or is it going to be grams? Well, it's going to be 1 mole of H2SO4 and grams of H2SO4. Okay, because remember, we're trying to look for grams. So whatever you're trying to find or whatever you want needs to go up top. Okay, and we already calculated the molar mass for H2SO4 up here. So I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna do all that work again. Okay, so our molar mass is 98.078. Okay. So, remember, 0.5 times 98.078 divided by 1. Okay, so 0.5 times 98.078 equals 49.039. Um, what's our units? Moles cancels out moles, so we're left with grams of H2SO4. Okay, and then our final answer should have the same significant figures. So this is three significant figures, yes or no? No. Remember that leading zeros are insignificant, so we actually only have two significant figures here. Okay, so our final answer is 49 grams of H2SO4. Okay, and then we have our last problem. So 
how many moles are there in 27 grams of ethanol? Okay, so I'm given 27 grams of ethanol, which is C2H5OH, and I'm going to multiply that by my conversion factor. I'm going from grams to moles, so it's going to be the same conversion factor. Okay, but I need to calculate my molar mass of ethanol. So I have carbon, hydrogen, and I have oxygen. Now, how many of each do we have? Carbon, I have two. Hydrogen, I have five plus one, so that's six, and I have one oxygen. Okay, and then again, I'm going to multiply that by my atomic mass, which is found on the periodic table. So carbon is 12.011, hydrogen is 1.008, and oxygen is 15.999. Okay, so multiply those all up. We get 24.022, 6.048, and then 15.999. Okay, so what does that total? Okay, so 24.022. 0.022 plus 6.048 plus, uh oh, plus 15.999, okay, which equals 46.069, okay, so that's going to be my molar mass for ethanol, okay, so again, what goes on the bottom? That's going, is it going to be moles or grams? Well, what we're looking for goes on top. So one mole of C2H5OH, and my molar mass is 46.069 grams of C2H5OH. Okay, so remember our grams and grams are going to cancel each other out, and I'm left with moles of C2H5OH. Okay, so to do our math, 27 times 1 is 27, divided by 46, so 27 divided by 46.069 equals... 0.586. Okay. Um, so again, significant figures. We only have two significant figures in our problem, so that means our answer also has two significant figures. So our final answer is 0 0.59 moles of C2H5OH. Okay. So that concludes our notes for today. If you have any questions, please don't be afraid to ask.